Erin Kelsey. I am a fourth year English major. Um, I have been doing UT since my first quarter at the university. I've been Dean's Man since the beginning of my second year. Um, I've acted, production managed, assistant directed, been on committee. A little bit of everything. <coughs> Uh, my name is Graham Albacton. I am a third year in Lee College. I am a TAPS major, and my uh, experience with UT is mostly as an actor. I've also been on committee, uh, sound designed, done some other odd jobs here and there. All right, I am Ted Gold. I am a third year anthro major. I have really only ever acted for UT. I've done it since my first quarter of my first year. Twelfth Night <coughs> is about sort of dealing with being in love and dealing with grief. Um, it's about falling in love completely and helplessly and unexpectedly and learning how to live with that and then also learning how to live with the grief when someone doesn't love you back or when you've lost someone that you love. Um, and it's also just kind of the story of what happens when these two outsiders are thrown into this really small community. And, chaos ensues in a hilarious way. Yeah, despite, yeah, despite all that tragic sounding love uh, stuff, yeah. it's actually quite hilarious. Yeah. The thing about Festy is that he's basically, if you took the wittiest, most sarcastic ass audience member out of the, uh, out of the audience, put them on stage, said, alright, you're a character now, just go around and react to everything that's going down. Because in, in, in the long run, if you were to actually like, take Festy out of, the, out of the play, not too many plot points would really be affected. But he, he's sort of just the, the way you want. His job is basically to see things as the audience would, but in a way to highlight things for the audience, highlight more things for the audience that they might see. On and also, I think that Dugar <coughs> and I actually have quite a bit in common, painfully so, actually. <laughs> because, uh, it, you know, there are things like our, our love of music and our, our need to share that and our, our constant need to express ourselves is very much in line with my history as a musician as, and as an actor. What I particularly like about her and really about the show is it's sort of a show about throwing yourselves into whatever it is you're doing. Like, there's sword fighting, there's dancing, there's there's a little bit of everything in all of the scenes, and all of the scenes are really fun, but it also hits these incredible highs and these incredible lows. So it's really challenging to work with, um, as we've been discovering. Um, but there's a real sense of sort of joy, particularly in her part, I think. Um, she doesn't let anyone get her down, uh, which I think is a really admirable quality and is very fun to play with on stage. Give thee now leave to leave thee. Now the melancholy god protect thee, and the tailor make thy doublet of changeable taffeta, for thy mind is a very opal. I would have men of such constancy put to sea, that their intent may be everywhere, and their business everything. For that's it that always makes a good voyage of nothing. Farewell. Exit. Morgan Cesario. Get thee to yon same sovereign cruelty. The parts that fortune hath bestowed upon her, tell her I hold as giddily as fortune. But, but tis that miracle and queen of gems that nature pranks her and attracts my soul. But if she cannot love you, sir. You cannot be so answered. Sooth, but you must. Say that some lady, as perhaps there is, hath for your love as great a pang of heart as you have for Olivia. You cannot love her. You tell her so. Must she not then be answered? There is no woman's sides. By the beating of so strong a passion as love doth give my heart. No woman's heart so big to hold so much. They lack retention. But mine is all as hungry as the sea and can digest as much. Make no compare between what love a woman may bear me and that I owe Olivia. Aye, but I know. What dost thou know? Too well what love women to men may owe. In faith they are as true of heart as we. 